Yo, what's good, Fight Gang? We about to talk about the lightweight division. As we just seen last month, Tank knocked out Frank Martin in the eighth. Tank had Frank sleeping peacefully. <laughs> With much respect to Frank. Frank fought good, but after that fight, the talks were about is Tank fighting Loma or Shakur next. But since then, now that William Zapata just ran through Kabara and Shakur just beat Otto, now the talk is more so Tank versus Loma first and Shakur versus Zapata. Or because, let's be honest, Shakur not beating Tank. Even with all his experience and skills, Shakur is not beating Tank. Shakur can train with Crawford, be mentored by Andre Ward, take tips from Floyd. It don't matter. Tank is still knocking Shakur out. Shakur is missing things, power for one of them, and he just don't have that nasty meanness in him. For example, when Tank and Crawford have their opponents hurt, they like a shark in the water. Shakur not like that. Shakur is perfectly fine with being defensive-minded first and coasting this way to a unanimous decision. Fans have turned on Shakur because everybody is knowing since how Shakur talks like he is the second coming of Sugar Ray Leonard and how much greater he is than the rest of the fighters. When he gets in the ring, he don't fight like that. He fights timid, casual fans, Pierce, and even other fighters have noticed that. Seeing Shakur fight Artem, yeah, he watched him and showed his skill set was on another level. But what's gonna happen when you have somebody that's gonna make you fight back? After Shakur's fight, I don't even see him making it to a fight against Tank. Because if he fights Cepeda next, I got Cepeda beating Shakur. Cepeda 31 and 0, 27 knockouts. He two inches taller, has longer reach, and he is in his prime. Cepeda will force Shakur to have to fight and not box. With Shakur boxing defense first mentality, I don't think he is equipped to being in an ugly, rugged, tough fight. Cepeda will go high guard and walk Shakur down and throw punches and bunches. And Shakur don't have the power to stop Cepeda. Cepeda volume punch volume is just on another level. And he doesn't have the advantage or speed to throw pot shots from the outside and get out the way for 12 whole rounds. Floyd could pot shot and get out the way because Floyd had long reach, speed, and respectable power, especially when he was pretty boy Floyd at 135. Matter of fact, he had more than just respectable power at 135. Shakur wasn't cracking at 126, 130, or 135. If Shakur and Cepeda fight, I'm predicting it goes exactly like Madonna versus Bronner. Bottom line, I don't think Tank and Shakur are fighting anytime soon because if Shakur fights Cepeda next, Shakur is not winning. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe.